Okay, everyone, we're about to get very up close and personal with a high amount of visceral fat. You have been warned. Now, some of you who've been following us for a while have probably seen parts of this body before, but I'm really gonna get close so you can see the high amount of visceral fat here. Let's just start with the heart. The heart, you can't even really make it out very well because there's so much visceral fat. You can look over here on the apex. It's really hard to make out the apex. And then you can see the lungs. Um, this person died of lung cancer. We'll get to that in an actual long form YouTube video. But even the liver had fatty liver disease. Now we know that partly because we got the medical history and this person was diagnosed prior to passing away, but there's just so many other risk factors with the high amount of visceral fat in the area. It's not shocking that fat is not just gonna be on the outside of the liver, but also penetrating and infiltrating the actual hepatocytes or those liver cells. And then you get down to the uh, abdomen here and you can see all the visceral fat surrounding the small intestine. The greater omentum is just super thick and huge. And so the reason why this is so important to show and point out the visceral fat is visceral fat has a high, high correlation with metabolic dysfunction and many other conditions for that matter. But when we talk about metabolic dysfunction, the things that come to mind most often are things like prediabetes and actual full-blown type two diabetes. But one of the good things about this is you actually can lose visceral fat through diet and exercise. 